Hi guys, my name is Tomcat and welcome to a brand new video in Forza Street. Now, this was a weird game that kind of got leaked uh, a while back and we talked about the leak, but we didn't really hear much about the game after that. And the game is here, but I don't think it's what any of us were expecting. I'm not sure it's what I was expecting either. So I'm going to show you guys what this game is, but don't get like, I wouldn't say to get your hopes up that it's like another Forza game, if you know what I mean. Like, it, it's like, it just doesn't exactly have that feel. I mean, it's literally a point-and-click adventure, it feels like. So, literally what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the first event, and I'm going to show you what happens when you race somebody, because you literally race somebody with the space bar. And... That might be a little bit like, okay, I'll skip through that dialogue, but let's see. Um, change lineup. Yes, we'll throw that in there. Confirm lineup and start the event. But anyways, you literally race with the space bar. And I'll show you what I mean when you, like, when we get into the race. Because it's such a weird concept and it's not something that you would normally, it's not something that you would normally do in a racing game. It almost feels like, all right, so let's see. One Series M, we've got a 400 PI, he's got a 406. Literally, it's just about timing. It's it's That's the only thing that you think about when you play this game, is timing. All right, let's see. You don't have time to make up ground. Uh, starts for everything, keep your revs in the yellow. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so space bar. Revs in the, whoop. Good. Well, good wasn't perfect. Got the jump off the line, though. Oh, maybe not. Oh, what the heck? Oh, you have to... Mm. You literally have to keep your foot on... The, not necessarily your foot on the gas, but... You have to keep the space bar held down the entire time. Oh, early gas. Okay. Well, there we go. We're sort of catching up. Wow, um, we really didn't have to do much to pass him, but got on the gas at the right time, though. But literally, it's just timing. That's literally all it is. And let go. Late break, which normally is a good thing, but in this instance, it's not. He's behind us, though. He's still back there. And that's the end of the race. So... I'm not sure how I feel about calling that a race. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure how I feel about that because it's literally, like I said, just timing of the space bar. And we got some credits, but that's about it. Now, let's see. Where do we go from here? All right, 250 credits. Then we've got another race. I'm putting air quotes because they're quick time events that only require one button and I don't know how I feel about calling that a race I'm still feeling conflicted about the fact that I'm calling it a race but I'm not steering at all I mean even in drag racing you have to steer a little bit to keep yourself going straight let's see corner smoothly to build boost you can activate with one full ring uh, but wait for two to gain a bonus boost okay Perfect launch. There we go. So let's see. I'm going to wait for another one of those, and I guess I just click it, and it just lets me go. Perfect. Okay. Like I said, it's all about... Oh, there we go. It's all about the timing. That's literally it. And let it go. Back on it again. It feels like something that was meant to be on mobile, and I don't mean that in a, in a bad way. I mean, I feel like if this was on mobile, it would be, it would be acceptable. But at the same time, I just, I don't know if it's acceptable on PC. I really don't know. God, these races are short. They're extremely short. Yeah, look how short that was. That's ridiculous. All right, 130 credits. We'll claim that and be done with it and move on. Now, let's see. 
What's your name? Wherever you are, I haven't seen driving like that. <laughs> I haven't seen spacebar pressing and releasing like that in a long time. Hmm. Right. All right. Claim your new car. Apparently, we have a new car to claim. So basically, basically, you do sort of a wheel spin, if you even want to call it that. And you end up with a... Ooh! Came in GTS. I wonder how this feels in terms of spacebar pressing and releasing. I can't take it... I, like, I can only take that so seriously when your, like, your whole dynamic of driving is based on the spacebar. So, let's see. Mm, claim, I guess. So, you get your daily login bonus. Um, and then we go back to continuing our story. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, which, which cars you use, which races you win. But hey, they reward you for doing certain things. So there are some upsides. Check out your challenges and see what you've already ticked off. They refresh every day. So check back tomorrow and see what's there. And let's see. View daily challenge. Win three races. We've done that. Win three races in a muscle car. So basically, we'd have to do one more in the Mustang, and we'd unlock a uh, another one of those daily challenges. Let's see. Attention, Miami. Scattered around the city, you'll find seed cryptocurrency known as chips. Why did they Why did they name it after a reasonably priced Kia? The Kia Seed. Not really, but still. Uh, my contribution to our street racing economy. Super chips can be redeemed for super cars. <laughs> if you want to face me in our first exhibition, exhibition round, I would suggest you start collecting. Alright, let's see. 1,000 super chips. Hmm. Start an event. Oh, we gotta put our lineup together. Add that. And... Oh, oh, I can only have one car right now. Got it. Well, I'm gonna use the Mustang one more time so I can have that, um... So I can complete that daily challenge. Because the daily challenge should be a... Oh. Time to race an E30. Let's see. Oh, God. This is gonna be really easy. Like, really easy. Why is this gonna be that much easier than the last event? That doesn't make sense. There we go. Wow, I didn't think it was gonna be a perfect launch. I need to remember to stay on the gas off the line. Or on the space bar. And... Break. Well, release, and then... Repress and boost. Release. See if I can make this one perfect. Ah, just great. I'm gonna wait for that boost to fill back up again. Yeah, we'll do it after this corner. After this release of the space bar. Oh, wow. He actually caught up a decent amount. But there's the line, and wow, we were way ahead. We were way ahead. Perfect launch, good corner, great corner, great corner. I'm okay with that. So that should get us another one of those daily challenges that we can go back and redeem. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's set up pretty much as you would expect a mobile game to be set up. And I think the only thing, the only thing with that is the fact that, like... I just feel like it should be on mobile because of that, you know? So let's see. 371, that's restricted. 377. Let's see. Da, 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 da. You'll have to choose your own path through Forza Street. I can't do it for you. Technically, I didn't qualify. I remember, blah, blah, blah. I'd suggest you scout potential uh, event restrictions and rewards before you decide. Well, that's, that's restricted. Oh, okay. So you need to have a super class car so we'll do this one next and so basically they give you almost like a not really a skill tree but like a career tree to progress through um let's see oh you can pick i see i'll race the other mustang i'm down i'll race the other mustang i mean it seemed like it would give me more of a reward so i'll do that There we go. So tapping it, tapping that button over and over again uh, will apparently help you quite a bit. And boom. Wow, okay. Well, 
Perfectly timed on that one, and perfectly timed on the exit. I'm gonna wait until that fills up all the well, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just go ahead and use it. <laughs> Perfect break. Oh, great gas. So you wanna do it right before you get to it. Right before the front end of your car touches. Sometimes you can't wait for the whole boost bar to fill up. Perfect break. Great. Ah, I waited just a little bit too long. There we go. That should hopefully help us. I mean, oh yeah, he's far enough back that it's not going to matter. So we should get better rewards in theory. Yeah, we should get better rewards in theory now. Now, is there any customization here to speak of? I don't even know. Let's see. We've got a decent race score, though. And then more super chips. Let's see. Once again, collecting super chips, are we? Uh, perhaps we'll see you in the final round for my exhibition race. Right. Okay, so... What if... That's all settings. Uh... So I guess I'm not allowed to go into, like, a garage environment yet. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. You can always come back and run events or collect award, awards that you missed. Complete all routes in an event to earn a domination bonus and an extra gold. And all the action will be live right here on Street TV. Okay, so we've got one more to do. I find it kind of funny that they brought the PI system over. Um, we're going to run the other Mustang, so it's more event score. Yeah, it's definitely more event score if we run the other Mustang. And we've pretty much figured out that all you have to do is, like, repeatedly tapping the space bar to stay... Yep, there we go. I let go of it, though, which was dumb. I need to remember not to do that. It's just so strange to be on the gas and not steering. It's really strange. Ah, early gas. That's bad. He's going to catch up because of that. I'm going to need to compensate. Oop. Great. And go. Still pretty iffy. Some of the camera angles, I will admit, are kind of cool. But I don't know if they make up for the lack of actually steering. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard to make up for the lack of steering in a racing game. Uh-oh. I need to get away from him. Oh, jeez. All right. That was actually a little close. That was actually a little close there at the end. I don't... See, that's the thing. I keep saying that I don't... I don't hate the concept. I just feel like... This should be on a phone. You know what I mean? I just feel like this should be on a phone. And I should be playing it on a phone and not on a PC. And it's just kind of one of those things where I'm like... I'm like, eh, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. Let me know how you guys feel about this game in the description below. I mean, I don't know if I feel comfortable, like, relating it to the other Forza games because it's kind of such a different thing entirely. But I hope you all enjoyed this first look. And if you did, make sure to click the like button. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later.